Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. Boss daughter was here today, and I was. She, I knew she was coming over, so I was like, "We got. We should do a video while you're here. Yeah. We should just. I mean, I. Yep. I just decided that would at like mm -hmm. uh, two o'clock today, yeah. so I had to run home from work and get all ready, and we'll just get it done because it's been since yeah. March, February. Yeah. No, March fourth. Has it really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been here since month. January, so. Yes, and boss daughter hasn't been here forever, <laughs> and I need to get bossy daughter back too. Yes. Maybe next week. Sometime. Maybe when I'm home yeah. for spring break is Ooh. next week. Oh, well, except she'll be out of town, but oh, maybe later in the right. week. Later in the week, it'll be fine. Because I was thinking maybe she could come over during the day. We could have her, or bring her son over. Oh, but she'll have Merrick. That's okay. Is next week a Merrick week? Uh, <laughs> yes. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll, do <laughs> we'll find a way to get her here, <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> yes, we need to get Bossy Daughter back over here. Yeah. Anyway, Catherine. It's been since. Two months, Since you January. said? Yep. Yep. So, uh, what do you think your fans would like to know? <laughs> I have not started a new cross-stitch project. Yes, that's going to be the first question. <laughs> yeah. What I do you cross-stitch? <laughs> well, the only thing I'm working on right now is a commission that I'm doing for a friend of ours. And so... Highway Stitcher. Yes. So, she has a YouTube channel as well. Go yes. see her. Is it Highway Stitcher? I think it's Highway Stitcher. Uh, I don't know. Pretty sure it's I Highway Stitcher. Look. Yeah. But yeah. Go see. It's cute. It's cute little. I'm doing the one over one part four. So I just have. She mostly, she does all of her own work. Yes. Catherine does. does not do all of her. Wouldn't that be funny? I know, right? <laughs> like in Singing in the Rain where she, does, she yes. doesn't do any of her own singing. It's actually You had me. a floss tube channel and you didn't do any of your own <laughs> stuff. Oh my gosh, that would be so funny. Okay, so no, she really does do all of her own stitching. I'm just doing this part for her because she doesn't want to do it. So if any else, any oh, Colette, of, sorry. <laughs> you're gonna laugh. So anybody else wants to hire me for a commission, I'm totally available. So that's and what Colette I do. Colette does beautiful stitching. Yeah, she it's really gorgeous. Does. But she was smart and said, this piece is never going to get done because I hate this part. So I should just hire Catherine just to do this one little bit it. and then it would be done. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So that's what I'm doing. And right I'm sure now. Colette will show you on her channel when, when it's, it's finished, finished and you can see yes. the part. She so really yes. did do most of it. <laughs> so you have been cross stitching. That's yes. good. You yep. don't just go just cold turkey that. off no. all together. No, I can't do it. I don't know. I have, though, written like three chapters of the book that I started. So that's a thing. And I lost 10 pounds. So that's also a thing. So I've been keeping busy. So And working full time. And working full time. Yep. And traveling. And traveling. Where have I been? Oh, yeah. To the Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did take mm -hmm. a Vegas trip, too, for a weekend. So, so there you go. That's my update about my life. If you want to be my beta reader, let me know. <laughs> Kudos if you know what that is. <laughs> okay. If you don't know what that is, then you can't be one. <laughs> And you have an Instagram account? Yes. How are they going to contact you through Instagram? And send, yeah. Either comment in the comments below or send me a message on Instagram at Insanity Stitcher. So there we go. Yes. And thank you for everyone who has commented on her. You still get oh, comments yeah. on really your surprised. Hade finish and your how to do a Hade Yay. video. I'm glad Those you guys are liked it. on my channel, so you can go look them up. Yes. But they are very, very popular videos. Good. I'm glad that helped you guys out. And thank you, everyone, who commented and asked questions, and it was more fun. Yeah. And thank you for everyone who watches my channel, whether my fun daughters are here <laughs> or not. I can't tell you how many comments. I didn't get one comment that said, well, how would you say that anyway? Because I said, uh. do you like me? Do you like us better when I have someone here with me, mm -hmm. like one of my daughters, or do you like me alone? You know, and everyone, of course, says, no, we like you together. But how would you say that? I know. You just it's like, no, we don't want her to come back. She's terrible. You're really better by yourself. Yeah. Really. <laughs> yeah. And definitely laugh more when That's I have true. one of my we daughters. We are here. hilarious. Because we do here, like so. to tease. Yes. A lot. Hmm, I wonder who we learned that from. <laughs> my husband is a terrible tease. It's one of the reasons I married him. It makes me laugh. Yeah. Yep. How's our whole lives? Oh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. We, we have somewhere to be at 7.30. We're supposed to be at book club. No, we gotta, we got to get cracking <laughs> so here get on this going. list. We cannot just wander all over the place. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who watches and comments. I love all the comments. I love the day after I do a video, I'm constantly at work. I've got <laughs> know, my little right? laptop like, over here. Like, I have my work computer, but I have my little laptop over here on the side. <laughs> and every once in a while, I'm just like, checking. Oh, someone yeah. comments. <laughs> 
<laughs> so thank oh you. That <clears throat> I don't know why it's such a a pick me up when people. Well, yeah, you get to talk to people about your favorite. Stuff. Yes, about stitching. That's why, <laughs> and you all say such lovely things. Thank you yes. so much, um, and thank you everyone who subscribes. I just can't tell you how much it means to me. It's just like a huge. Yeah. It's like a. I'm really surprised how many I started subscribers this you in have. It's October, great. October, I think. Yeah. September, October. Yeah. And it really people say this all the time, but it really is. It's like this whole new world, mm -hmm. like this whole new journey. So grateful. So if you haven't watched her, go watch her. So grateful. SEW mm -hmm. talked about how she has all these new friends, and that's what it feels like. You have all of these mm -hmm. friends that you didn't know you had that message really you and talk that. to you and ask questions, and you find out you have all this stuff in common, and. It, it's just fun. And you wonder why all the kids are on the internet. I know. <laughs> the internet I know. Oh, I know we're terrible. Social media. <laughs> that's all you do. Yep. <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> all right. We have gone to the... <laughs> okay. we got to get to this list. I am Handwork Maniac on Instagram. If you... Um, when I go for <laughs> four weeks, I'm making a video, yeah. which I promise I'll be better. It's I think it's every holiday. Then I think, oh, I... Because yeah. work is just, I know I keep saying that every month. Work has just been, this oh, winter's been terrible for me this year. Well, you year. only have two more months of work, so. I know, we're definitely the on the downhill slide, yeah. so we'll get back to my regular Except videos. May, you guys, May's going to be rough, so. May is stressful, because it's crazy, crazy, crazy yeah. at work. But maybe if I would do a video, I could be less stressful. <laughs> there I don't you know. Go. <laughs> Instead of a quilt this week, which I should have had you. What? I wish I had a quilt. You should bring a quilt that my mom has made for you. I had a quilt oh, yeah. behind me last. Oh, is that okay? I'm up. The I'm on the level now. Room. Yeah, I can totally bring a quilt. <laughs> Do you watch the videos? No, yeah, I, I watch the videos. It's been four weeks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> so today, instead of a quilt, I put an afghan. Yeah. I think that's required if you're a daughter. You have to. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'll watch the videos. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I do crochet as well. I knit as well. Uh, that's why my name is Handwork Maniac, is because I think I've tried every craft out there, and I've enjoyed most of them. Yeah. I just cross stitch is my favorite, so that's the one I always come back to. But that was an afghan I made. Gosh, I don't know, fifteen years ago. I, uh, I couldn't tell you. You were a teenager, right? I was. Well, like ten years ago, you would have been twenty. Well, yeah. It's gotta been before that, right? Well, yeah. Okay. So like <laughs> fifteen, twenty years ago, it, something so. I made that afghan. Yeah. And so we're very monochromatic in the background today. It's yes. no fun at all. It's okay. We, we'll we do sort of have colors. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We totally have colors. <laughs> we'll plan our color scheme better next time. I know all you that do floss tube videos that are the colors are just gorgeous and you've got this beautiful backdrop and your clothes mat. Oh, I love those. Thank you. We'll work on that. Yeah. We'll get better. And next this. week when I'm home for spring break, I think I'm going to do a video on how my whole lap stand. I've had a lot of questions oh, about that. So I'm going to yeah. demonstrate how I actually sit in a chair and how it works and how I hook all the things to it and show you my floor stand. So watch for that. And then I really, maybe today at the end, I wanted to just stand up and turn the video around so you could see the mess we make <laughs> first off and then what the sewing room looks like. Room looks okay, like. we really are moving right along to actual okay. cross-stitching, which is why you're watching. Uh, before I forget, turn, what in the world? I had it right here. What? Um... It's called Utopi, and I it's showed right it there. to you last week. Oh, thank you. Good grief. Oh, so cute. This is the one I'm going to start. So if we jump ahead and do plans for April, it it'll be the lot. normal so whip. But yeah. it, I bought this for, I saw it on uh, Stash Queen's <sighs> YouTube. And the minute I saw it, I was like, yeah, oh, you have to have that. Oh, <laughs> and I told you that on my last video, it's got, I like the swirlies. Yeah. I like the tree. I love trees. I like the colors. But the thing that got me was the little tiny little houses, baby houses that are all over in the tree and the little swing. And the, <laughs> oh, just, oh, just so many things about this. So I got it for Mania. I knew I wanted to do it for Mania. It's one of my Mania pieces. And Mania, M-A-Y-N-I-A. Go check out the Facebook Stitch Mania group if you'd like to know more about that. It's like a big celebration of new starts every May. And I participated last year and I'm going to participate this year. And also watch in April, I'll do a Mania preview. I'll tell mm -hmm. you everything I'm going to start in Mania. I am Towards not doing that. April. I'm going to watch her do that. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to end up working on several of my Mania yes. pieces. I don't know, five years down the road. Exactly, when she has to finish up, them. She'll be working on them. Yeah. 
Anyway, I showed this three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and one of the viewers, Winna B, W-Y-N-N-A, hi Winna, she was fabulous and commented and said, did you know there's a companion piece to this? Shut and I up. was like, what? <laughs> How did I miss that? So thank you, Winna. It's very similar, almost the same pattern, just different color scheme, and I think this the feel of the swirls is a little different. Yeah. It felt more spring to me. This is way more autumn. But it's called Reverie, I-E, I believe, yeah. Reverie. Same designer. It's This one's called Utopi by Camille. Her name is right here. And it's on the Jardin Privé website. So um, you can find it there as well. So it's not, I don't think Jardin Privé is actually the designer. It's Camille is the designer, but she sells through them. So anywhere, you can buy it anywhere that gets their, that orders pattern from Jardin Privé. But I love that. But I just wanted to share that really quick before I forgot. Good thing you saw that. It's a good thing you're I here. I know. I know. I would have like, just moved on. I don't know yeah. what I did, but it is lost. <laughs> All right. We did Catherine, yes. we did all of this. Yes. Okay, on to whips. Okay. And last time when I said I had done all the whips in the basket, I had missed two that weren't in the basket. What? Oh, okay. So, a month ago you didn't see two of the whips. Let's see if we can remember to do it today. Yeah. Well, it's on the list, so. <laughs> so do I look at the list? That's the next question. <laughs> That's I what I'm nervous. here for. I'm just nervous in front of the camera. You think you're going to do all these things and then you get done and realize you forgot half of it. Okay, here's the Migraine Headache Garden. This is based on Stitch and Mommy. She has a YouTube channel, Stitch and Mommy. She also has an Etsy store. She's a designer. She's, she does a temperature garden. So she designed this as a temperature garden where each petal is the temperature for that day. And it goes through the whole year. But like I, you had some pretty headachey months there. Look, look. I look know. Here. You're finally look. doing okay in March. Purple. <laughs> Purple is the best color. Purple. Blue is okay. Had a good week that week. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. No, this is another reason why this winter has just been Jeez. hard. Yeah, that looks painful. I adapted the her temperature garden. She also has some other ones, a hot air balloon and a quilt pattern that you can record the temperature every day. But I adapted it so I could record um, headaches trends so I could see so my, I adapted the flowers a little bit so there are seven petals on each flower because each flower is a week and her original design is not like that. Mm. So mine is a little different, but if you're interested, go check out Stitching Mommy. She's awesome. And she does some beautiful stitching. She shows you on her YouTube channel as well as being a fabulous designer. <laughs> that is on, oh. Hmm. <laughs> That is on 28 Count Summer Sky Jobelin DMC, two strands over two threads. All right. I should let you put these back in the bag. <laughs> yes, that'll be my job. Them all out. This is Adventure Awaits by Caterpillar Cross Stitch, which I've been out. telling you ever since I started it that she's in Canada. She is not. She's in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And I don't think this has changed, actually, since the last time I showed it to you. But my it's goal is to have this done by the end of April. And it's before it's new starts. two over two on 36 count Mount Baker Blue by Lakeside Linens. And I have really, really enjoyed this. I love that it's a map, and I love the colors, and I love all the fun things. And it looks like it's going really fast. I know. There's not... It only goes over to, like, like here. Yeah. So, it Adorable. is close. That is the called for, D oh, I did change the pink color from, it's the called for DMC, except it called for this pink was supposed to be 151, this one, and I changed it to, no, it was supposed to be 152, and I changed it to 151. That is a, a solid choice. Pink, because yeah. I just thought it looked better. It does. For, you know, everyone has their own color palette that they like. What? You don't want that dusty rose from the 90s? <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. I'm too old and I'm <laughs> over that dusty rose. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the stocking Yay! and I announced the breaking news on the Oh yes, video. I did see that. I was really glad you said that. That we found. Because that was extremely and important. And we didn't even have to stitch it for it to show up. I know. Because I said that was the only way it was going to show up. Yeah. What's really bothering me that I 
that I would lose it. I just yeah. kept thinking, there's no way. How could I do that? Mm -mm. What weird thing happened? I just, what? <laughs> so that, I yeah. feel a lot better that validated it didn't that just it was disappear somewhere. At his apartment. Yes. Yeah. So in case you missed the last video, Andrew yeah. found his Christmas stocking. It. Thank goodness. At his house. At his house in St. George. <laughs> so. So I only have prices to, averted. <laughs> so I only have to do two stockings this year, which means this one needs to be done by the end of June, which means it should have been halfway done by the end of this week. And it's okay. close. I mean, yeah, I could, I might, there. could. This about right here ish is about halfway down the stocking. Oh, I feel nice. like. So you're you're almost there. I haven't done any back stitching yet, and I will do. Oh yeah, the back all. Stitching. Well, I did all the wallpaper. Okay, yeah. Those mm -hmm. pink lines in the wallpaper, I did yeah, that. Yeah, the back stitching is pretty intense on these. But I probably will do the back stitching before I move the key snaps down to the bottom half of the stocking. Fun fact about Andrew, he's a programmer. For any of y'all out there who are programmers, he just started a YouTube channel called yes. Captain Avocado, and it's yeah. hilarious. Go watch it. He is my youngest son. Yeah. He is a very talented He's programmer. the one who's like me. He's great. And he is very fun to watch, so you should go yeah. watch it. Go, Andrew. Yeah. Okay, this stocking is was originally in the Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazines every July and August issue. It was also reprinted in this book by Better Homes and Gardens. And you can also get it on the Cooler Design website, mm -hmm. K-O-O-L-E-R, if you just want to buy one stocking at a time. And you can't find any of these other things that are all out of print now, apparently. Yeah, apparently. And so they're 30 years old. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Older than, than 30. <laughs> older than me then. Because it was the... <sighs> It was in the issue that came out a couple years before you were born. Oh, you're right, yeah. The kitchen stocking. And that is also DMC. Mm -hmm. Called for DMC. Come over to Mushroom Move On and mm -hmm. Even Weave. I love Even Weave. It's when amazing. When you've been working on something else and you go to Even Weave, yeah. it just, oh, something mm -hmm. about it. It was just easy. It's Your eyes perfect. can see it easy. Yeah. You don't have to think hard. It feels it's nice. Wonderful. Okay, Shores, you're getting a sneak peek. I wasn't going to show it to you until oh. the end of the month when it was finished. Oh. I should give that to you. Yes. Now you get a sneak peek. Actually, I should not take it off the cue snaps. And then when it's finished. Yeah. And then, yeah. Next week when I make another video while I'm <laughs> off work for spring break, I'll show you the whole thing. Yay. Oh. But that is the March block, and it is very close to finish. I just have to finish the blue around the snake. Around the snake. Yeah. See? What? See? <laughs> I, I looked at that. Oh, I just oh, went, it is it's snake. a snake. Yeah. It's a snake. It's a red and white striped snake. Okay. So if there really is a snake that's red and white stripey, I'd love to know what kind of snake that is and whether it's poisonous or not. Maybe it's a water snake. Oh, probably because it's in the water on the picture. If it's an eel. <laughs> the hilarious thing about this is I stitched that snake at some point and completely and forgot he was there. <laughs> Like, there's a snake on there? Oh, yeah. That was like. <laughs> yes. Eight in fact, years when, ago. when this is finished at the end of next oh, month, yeah. you need to bring yours again. Yes. If you want to go back and see the first video that Catherine's on, she brought hers because she stitched it already on the called for fabric. So mm -hmm. if you want to see what it looks like on a the called for fabric, right They're next to this different. one because we held them up right next to each other. It makes <clears> different <throat> colors pop. It's really But that would be fun to show them again yes. when it's finished. And this All is right. on one over two. On mm -hmm. 40 count, called for Picture this colors, NPI silk, heritage called for linen. <clears throat> 40 count heritage linen, except for I changed on part of it, the top row of blocks, I did use the called for 522 NPI mm -hmm. silk, and then I switched over to this Belle Soi Bahama Breeze, because I thought it was more pretty. watercolor. Yeah. And then the very last block on the bottom, I went back to this 522 just to tie it all in together. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Vanna. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a hilarious story. <laughs> I belong to the So Much to Love Project Bag of the Month Club. So I get a project bag every month with her wonderful goodies that are in it. Um... And I showed you the January bag and the February bag. Well, the way she does it is she invoices you through PayPal oh. on the first of the month. And then she gives you like two weeks to answer and pay the invoice. Really? Well, if you don't pay the invoice, mm -hmm. then she cancels your order for that month. Hopefully not for the whole club. Hopefully just for that month. I should probably contact her and find out. <laughs> so I am terrible at email. Oh, I, I probably get 
40 emails a day at work, which is basically my inbox. They all have, they all take, that's all something I need to do. Mm. It's a task I need to complete or go research or go find out or go help and then do, or something I need to for or report I need to do and then email it back. So when I get home, I'm terrible at checking my own email. I'm awful at it. It just feels like work to me. And so I just want to go home and stitch. I don't want to look at email. And I'm so busy at work that I, except on the days when I'm cheating and looking at my floss tube feed, um, I don't ever look at my personal email at work either. And I, oh, anyway, so I totally missed it. So when I finally did read my email, the first thing I see is your invoice has been canceled. And I'm just like, oh, dear. <laughs> but. I thought, well, I still want a bag for the month. So I just got on her website, so much to love, S-E-W-M-U-C-H, number two, L-U-V. And I just chose one that I like. The, they hadn't been shipped yet. And so no one else on, the, I, don't, I still didn't know what the March one looked like because no one had showed it on their floss tube oh, channel no. because it hadn't been shipped yet. So I just got on and chose one that I like. So I chose this one so I could have one for March. I thought it was so pretty. Yeah. It says, focus on the good. Got cute little bees on it. I know. And I love the colors. I love the style. Yeah. It's got the yellow. Oh, this isn't even polka dot. It's little hearts. Oh. Little heart polka dots. And then the inside is yellow gingham. So cute. And then she didn't have, on her website, she didn't have a matching um, accessory bag to go that was in the same fabric. So I have lost the accessory bag, apparently. Oh, my word. Where could it go? <laughs> Here it is. So I just chose another one that I thought went well, was similar colors, and I thought it was really cute too. And then she emailed me and said, do you want your accessory bag to match? Because I have one, or I could make one. I don't know if she made one or had one that matches that. And I said, well, if you haven't shipped it yet, because I didn't see that for another <laughs> that week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I said, uh, oh, if you haven't shipped it yet, that would be great. If you've already shipped it, the one I chose was fine. And she hadn't shipped it yet, so she also sent me the little accessories bag that matches. It's so cute. I know. Silly story. <laughs> And I just realized right now I should probably contact her and make sure I'm still in the club. Yeah. I hope they didn't just kick me out of the Cancel club. Cancel your membership. And uh, note to self, be better at reading your email. Yeah. That's why I pull mine up at work. I take like a 20 minute break at work yeah. and just like check my personal email because I'm not going to do it at home either. Yeah. This is the, also by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. It's a mystery stitch along called Seize the Day. She sends a little bit of it in my email <laughs> I managed to <laughs> find that. Took that email because <laughs> I'm looking for it and I know what day it's coming <laughs> I'm excited this I am not done yet it's these two houses plus some more over here so this is it just came on the 25th so working on that it's like it's on 36 count maritime white linen DMC two strands over two uh yep caterpillar cross stitch mm -hmm. that's been way fun my sister-in-law Juliana is doing it with me as well this was the February bag club from Snow Much Snow. So much to love. Oh, this, love this is one. another mystery stitch along. As I told you in my last video, I must have a thing for. I do. I love mystery stitch alongs. Yeah, you did all those shadow ones too. Mm-hmm. When they were mysteries. Mm-hmm. With my sister-in-law Juliana, 20 years ago. Could have been 25 oh by now. Gosh, right. Holy cow. We were at Green River in the sand working Ooh, on that one. Yeah. You were. It was a the child. one you got sunburned so bad. Oh, I was a teenager. 13, 14, maybe. Mm -hmm. This is, sorry, Words to Live By <laughs> by Tiny Modernist. You can still join. Um, the middle block came out first, and then, oh, and it's terrible see through. Oh, there you go. Um, I'm still working on the middle block because I started late, so I'm trying to get caught up. Mm. So I do the monthly blocks as they come out. This one came out on February 15th. The next one came out on March 15th. And then I'll keep working on the middle. It came out in January. I'll keep working on it. Washing it out until I get it mm. finished. 32 count black linen, two over two. Yes. Called That's for uh, DMC. DMC. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, my stomach's growling because we didn't eat dinner yet. <laughs> we couldn't decide. Eat first, make the video first. Make decided. the video first. Catherine said we should make the video first. Yeah. I said that'd probably good because then we won't have food in our teeth. Yes. But now we're hungry. I don't know. 
We might have been. Life more. is pain. <laughs> No, you know what Dad was saying? Ah, get over it. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. I said that to my son the other day, and I, I was like, I've become my father. It's whatever. It's fine. This is Petite House by Soda Stitch. I'm doing this as a, um incentive round with a chat group that I belong to, that I have belonged to for over 20 years, I'm sure. Oh, my gosh. Do you do anything that's not over 20 years? Because <laughs> uh, I started diamond painting in the last year. Oh, there year. you go. There Zentangle you go. the year before that. <laughs> okay, here we are so far on Petite House. And we have 20 weeks. The challenge that I do with the chat group is we have 20 weeks to finish it. Mm. So I need to get a move on because I only yeah, have until the 20 there. something of June to get it finished because oh. it started the 20 something of January. It's on mm -hmm. 40 count rainbow linen. silk weaver linen with the called for DMC one over two threads. Yes. I actually knew that one. Yay! <laughs> when I did a video every week, I had them like had that. Like that. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Oh, I love this one. Every time you post an update about this one, it makes me so happy. It's Victorian Charm. And my sister-in-law, Juliana, challenged me to a challenge this month. She had done it the month before with a group she belongs to and told me about it. And I said, I want to do that. And she said, okay, let's do it for March. Which is so nice of her. You don't have to take it all the way off. Just take off the top. Oh, you're right. Just, yeah, snap that back on there. No, See, snaps. I was talking and I wasn't thinking. <laughs> that's okay, that's why I'm here. That's right. <laughs> Could be the brain. So, for the month of March, I think I only missed one day. I have stitched on it at least 30 minutes every day. Usually longer. Sometimes several hours. But here it oh, is. So, so cute. Such a back up below. The top half is come like above this line right here oh, yeah. where the background stops. That is all back stitched. So completely done above that line of background. Wow. But that's only the top half. I still have the bottom half to go. That's but not even the first still... floor. That those windows right there, that's the second floor. Oh really? There's still another floor underneath and the Oh look at that. And, and the, the porch the... and the <laughs> And the road, yeah. <laughs> this is a dimensions a kit. I used the fabric that came in the kit mm -hmm. and, and the, the floss that came the floss. in the kit. Yeah, didn't change anything. And it's adorable. And I was hoping I'd have it done by Mania, but I don't think I am. So for April, uh, we're going to continue the challenge. My sister-in-law and I. I don't know if she's going to continue it, but I'll keep sending her pictures every day and drive her crazy because <laughs> I'm going to continue it. <laughs> Because we'd post an update, a before and after picture every single day. Oh, wow. We yeah, that's a other. lot of text messages. That's good just thing one a day. Good thing you texting generation. That's only one a day. <laughs> I know. I was just thinking, it's a good thing it's not the 90s anymore when you got like $5 <laughs> charges for every like media image that you sent. Yeah. Those were the days. Uh, next week when I do my weekly video next week. I will show you a before and after picture if I can figure that out. So you can see how far I got in 30 days. Is this the last one? Well, that one's part of that challenge, but I haven't started it yet. Oh, it had to be the the one I'm doing with the chat board had to be at least 120 by 120. And it wasn't quite. So I had to oh. add this baby little the bag I bought at Shepherd's Bush. It looks like this. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Already made. And then you just stitch on it already made. That's so smart. And it looks like this. It's very cute. It says Busy Bee. And I, oh, and it had buttons. It has buttons to put on it. So I added that to the channel. So this also has to be finished by <laughs> the end of the 20 weeks. <laughs> All right. And it only had a few colors. So I actually put it on Aww. these thread Those keys. are so cute. Which I rarely use because yeah. I'm never, never just working with like colors. It just has a few colors. Yeah. Ooh, maybe I should use. Oh, sorry. Maybe <laughs> think of a mania piece that only takes. It's one color. The whole thing. Oh. Okay. The two I forgot to show you last time because they don't fit in my basket. 
that sits by my chair, and I, all I did last time was bring down the basket, is Disneyland. And I, w I got the chance to go to Disneyland uh, the second weekend in February. Wow. To go visit my friend. Ago. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yes? Yeah. February, March. Probably because it was before I went to Vegas. Wow, now I can't February. remember. Wow, Aww. look how time flies. So I actually got to work on this at Disneyland. Yeah, she took this really cute picture of the mountain in front of the yes, real mountain. Yes, if you mountain. go to my Instagram account, you can see me that I took so a picture fun. of this in front of Thunder Mountain. And then I sat at the Rose Tavern. I want to say there's more to that name than just Rose Tavern. This is the Rose Tavern, right by the Dumbo ride. Okay. I sat with those little tables and stitched on Dumbo, because that's where I was at the time. And took a picture of it with the Dumbo ride going behind. But unless you know what you're looking at, you have no idea where <laughs> I am or what's behind me. Because I didn't wait until one of the Dumbos went really high. You can make them go Oh, high. yeah, that's right. So you can't really see me. You have to wait for that kid to do it. Yes. That's on 40 <laughs> count. There's always that one kid. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's going to be up there the whole time. <laughs> dwarf. 40 count dwarf linen. Well, that's appropriate. One I strand. I've never that before. Over two threads. Yep. With the called for DMC. Oh, and it, sorry, oh. it's by Nenny Designs. We've buried the picture. Oh. It's called Disneyland. I bought it on Etsy from Nenny Des Nenny Designs. N e n i d e s i g n. Yeah. Called for stuff. Oh, that's what I started saying. For the month of April, I'm going to continue the challenge, but I'm going to do because this was the other one I really wanted to have done by Mania. And I think it will move. I considered just kept just keep working on Victorian Charm and give up on this one, but I think this one's actually closer to being finished. It just doesn't think. feel like it, but I think it is. I think I could actually get quite a ways on this. Oh, whoops. No, well, that's okay. It's Not a lot you can tell section. from that little bit of the pattern. That's true. Ah! And I it's love boring. This. It's boring to work on for me. because <laughs> oh, it's one. From here to here is the same pattern, same color, doing the same thing over again for hours to get clear down that strip. So, so I figure good. if I work on it at least 30 minutes every day, at least, yeah. maybe a little longer if I haven't put the needle down yet, yeah. then it might get close to being finished by the end of April. Yeah. Because it was also one of my mania pieces from last year, one of my whips, because I did five whips. Oh, yeah. It's called... Uh, Twisted Band Sampler by Northern Expression. Let's go this way. And I am so close. Oh, as soon as like I finish way, this strip, uh -huh. the rest of the half of that strip is green. And that gold was just not my, those three golds yeah. were not my favorite color. Oh, yeah, that's a big, big gold. So I am right here where I get to do the other half of that strip is the green. So I get to switch to green this week. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then as soon as I'm down, down in the middle of those greens, then I'm done with the full stripes oh, and the stripes start actually get start getting shorter. Oh, okay, then yeah, you can, you can totally handle it. So I would love to see how much of this I can just knock out in yes. the month of April while I'm still doing the whole rest of my rotation. Yep. Not giving up on my rotation, yeah. just, just 30 minutes every day. <laughs> All right, mail. I only have. I don't think I got anything in the mail this week. This month, I did have Kathy in Indiana. It was so sweet and sent me this pattern. All we need is love by Bobby G Designs. So cute. She was so sweet. So thank you, Kathy. And she sent me a cute little card. Oh, look, there's kitties. <laughs> kitties on the envelope. And look how cute. That was so sweet. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. I want to stitch that next winter. Maybe in the middle of July. And when I'm wishing it was... Yeah, when you're wishing that it's wintry, snowy, snowy. Yeah. I should pull that out and work on it. Okay, for my old, old finish. Oh, I need to talk about this really quick. Uh, Brian Blitzstitch. If you haven't watched Blitzstitch, you need to go check out Blitzstitch, his YouTube channel. He's awesome. Um, he lives in Arizona. He talked about starting one of the drawn thread uh, gardens, the seasonal mm -hmm. gardens. There's four of them. 
and he was going to start it as a stitch along. Talked about it several months ago. And he has decided that he is going to start the stitch along in May. And I told him several months ago when he first talked about it, I'm like, oh, I'm so there. I'll do it with you if you do it as a stitch along. I love those. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start with, he wasn't sure which one he was going to start with. I'm going to start, Brian, with Autumn. I have already kitted it up with all the called for threads. And I won't tell you what I'm going to do it on yet, because that will be in my Mania video. Because this is going to be a Mania piece, so I will start it in May as well. One of the first 19 days of May, whichever day it comes up in my Mania starts. And I think I'm going to do all four of them on top of each other. Like oh, vertically stacked fun. on yeah. the same piece of fabric. The only problem is, is I really want to do Autumn, and that's the one I kitted up. So oh, now I have, have to, to calculate. maybe do some basting on my fabric so I make sure that um, Autumn ends up in the right place. Or... Or stitch them out of order. Like maybe the seasons don't have to start with. <laughs> <laughs> Our eyes twitching. <laughs> no, I guess not. as long as they go in order and they're just like out of. Uh, yeah, that would be fine. Okay. Just I know. As long what if they're they started not like... with went autumn? So I can't go autumn, spring, no. summer, winter, something weird like that. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I will <laughs> throw it away after you're gone. <laughs> You'll refuse to help me in five years. <laughs> Like, no, mom, you got yourself into this mess. Whip. I can't. <laughs> no, I think I'd be happier if it started with spring as well. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to take some time, maybe before mania starts, I'll do some pre oh, there you go. mania. Yes. Because you can do that to get it ready, maybe, and get the basting done of where the, at least mark the corners with counting pins. Yeah. So I can figure out exactly where Autumn goes. Mm -hmm. I already have the fabric chosen. Mm -hmm. So, Brian, yes, I'm in doing it with you starting in May. All right, what I wish I... I got this all out last time. I'm, I, I'm for, completely forgot to do what I wish I was stitching on in an old, old finish. Had it sitting right there, completely forgot about it. Because oh Catherine was not here to yeah. help me out. Okay, so I pulled this out. It's called Three Windows by Mystic Stitch. They're very similar. Same idea as Heaven and Earth Designs, just a different company called Mystic Stitch. And I'm, I need to go check and see if they're still around because I bought these like back when I started... Having an earth design. Peter, Peter Pumpkin either. Oh my gosh. Back then. Yeah. And they were gorgeous. And I love this one. Love this one. I bought three of them. 2007, geez. Okay, so I pulled it out last time to do the video. And I was just looking through the, looking at the pattern to see if it was, you know, what kind of symbols they use. Was it really the same as the Heaven and Earth design? And realized the top of the page does not say three windows. It says, Autumn Solitude. FL 17. So I'm looking at the front of the cover again going, no, this is tree windows FL 15. So apparently when they were um, binding, binding them, them, collating and binding them, they got the wrong cover on this pattern. So now I'm going to have to go Google and see if I can find a picture of Autumn Solitude. Autumn Solitude. See uh, if I like it. Yeah, before you start on it. But I really still love this tree windows with these beautiful green shutters. So... Hmm. Not that I'll ever have time to get my hades finished and start on these. <laughs> but maybe if this is still available, I could get this actual pattern. Yeah, that was just go. making me laugh. I mean, I'm just <laughs> like, I could totally see myself doing that, doing all this coal. They were probably collating by hand yeah. and just picked up the wrong cover. All right, so that's what I wish I was stitching on because that wouldn't it be lovely to be in Tuscany right now? In Italy, someplace that looked like that, stitching on some. Yeah. Okay, and this is my old, old finish called This is the Day by Lottie Da. I completely changed the colors. You'll see that she is some tealy blues and greens and cream. It says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I just love it. I love how happy she is. I love the sentiment. It reminds me to be, to see the good every day, to be positive. So I changed, I converted all the colors to fall colors, yellows that make me happy. They were all Gloriana silks. If you're interested in knowing what the colors were, I did write them down so I could go back and look that up and you could email me. My email is always listed in the description box below. If you want to email me, I could give you those colors, but that's my old, old finish. It sits in my bedroom on my dresser where I can see it every day. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't, I wrote down what fabric I did it on and everything, but I would have to go look it up. All right, 
I think that's everything. That's everything on the list. We can oh go eat gosh. dinner now and go to book club. Yay! <laughs> and we'll have Catherine back more often. Yes. Because the viewers really, really like to see you. And they love to see a bossy Aww. daughter as well. So we will get her back as well. Great. Hope you have a fabulous week. Hopefully I am going to have a fabulous week next week because <laughs> I am off school for yeah. a whole week. <laughs> off of work. Because I work at a school and it's spring break. Mm -hmm. So have a great week. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.